Corbello is a family-owned winery located in Guerneville, California. Corbell has a strong brand familiarity with all consumers and within their target market they have achieved definite brand recognition and brand preference among many of their consumers because of the length of time that Corbell has been producing their product. They have worked hard to achieve brand equity by their commitment to continued quality over the last 130 years in business and they have continued the strong demand that retailers and consumers alike have for their product. Corbell has three major product lines, champagne, still wines, and brandies. The most popular and well-known product line is their champagne. Within each product line, there are individual products. In the champagne line, Corbell offers 15 different champagnes. Some examples of the more popular products are Brut, Extra Dry, Rosé, Cuvée, Natural, and they also offer champagnes made from organic grapes. In their product line of still wines, they offer seven different wines that are made from a variety of different grape varietals. Corbell's smallest product line is their brandy line, with only three different individual products. They're, they are California Brandy, XS Extra Smooth, and VSOP Gold Reserve. Corbell also sells products that are not for consumption, for example, t-shirts, glasses, picnic baskets, wine and champagne openers and stoppers, and other merchandise that pa pairs well with their champagne, wine, and brandy. Corbell's packaging is simple, but their bottles and labeling still display the feeling of luxury that they want to pass on to their consumers. Corbell's products would be considered more specialty products for many consumers, but for some consumers, Corbell may be a homogenous shopping product because of the competitive competition that is in the industry, especially in this wine country region of California. Most of Corbell's products are in market maturity. Because they have been in business for over a century, their sales have leveled off for the most part and consumers are happy with the products, so Corbell has not tried to change them too much. Their newest product is their champagne that is made featuring organic grapes because in the last decade, more consumers have become increasingly concerned about concerned about consuming organic products. This shows that Corbell has grown with its industry and the increased popularity of organic wines. Corbell Champagne Company has grapes located all throughout California due to the grapes' climate needs. Their factory is located in Guerneville where they produce and store their products. Their physical distribution is done through one distributor, Brown Foreman. The only, only having one facility, Corbell privately owns their warehouse on site where they store their champagne, wines, and brandy until the distributor comes to pick them, come and picks them up. They sell most of their products in bulk to Brown Foreman who then sells to retailers. Their products are seen in most stores and are sold internationally. Most of the stores that sell Corbell products are supermarkets, super centers, convenience stores, and restaurants. Corbell Champagne also has a line of wines and a few champagnes that only sell through their store on site in Guerneville. Along with their in-store sales, Corbell has most of their products available for sale on their website. Brown Foreman is a distributor for 18 companies with various alcohol products, which they specialize in. With many companies, they, sell, they use intensive distribution to get all of their products out to make a profit. Brown Foreman has locations worldwide where they keep their products in various warehouses to ship to retailers. Corbell does some advertising to get people to their winery. Along the freeway, there is a billboard that tries to get people's attention and advertises them to come to the winery. At the Corbell Winery, they have a tasting room where you are able to taste many of the different wines and champagnes that they offer. They use personal selling in this setting because the wine specialist is there pouring the wine for the potential customer. These specialists have much knowledge about the champagnes and are able to answer any questions that the customer may have. The main slogan for the company is Toast Life. They are using the slogan to imply that Corbell Champagne can be involved in many aspects of your life. This idea is trying to help make it seem like Corbell can be incorporated in your everyday life, not just for special occasions. There at the winery, they sell a few different t-shirts that have the company's slogan, Toast Life. This is a good form of publicity for the company because when the customer wears this shirt that is free, publicity for the company. Corbell doesn't do any of their mass selling on their own. 
They have one distributor that is responsible for selling and promoting the product to customers and retailers. They use a few different forms of advertising, such as commercials. Another thing that gives Corvell a competitive edge over other companies is that the company is over 125 years old. This means it has been around for a while, therefore known by many people. This is good for Corbell because more people will choose them when it comes to choosing champagne because they are a well-known, trusted company. Corbell sponsors many events. One is the United States inauguration, which they have been sponsoring for almost 20 years and even been served at six inaugurations. They also sponsor the Long Drive Competition, which is a golf competition to see which celebrity can hit the farthest long drive. There are many different signs that have their name on it as well. At the end of the competition, the Corbell president presents the winner of the competition a big bottle of Corbell champagne. This is good for Corbell because not only the people attending this event see Corbell's involvement, but the event is also broadcasted on television. Broadcasting on television gives Corbell the exposure to even more prospective consumers. Corbell has relatively low prices compared to many of their competitors. The use of a penetration pricing policy allows Corbell to be ahead of competitors and offer their products to a wide range of people. Low prices usually attract many people, and Corbell knows that. Corbell achieves their low prices by remaining a family-owned business and producing their products at very high volumes. Another policy that is practiced by Corbell is a flexible price policy, which allows their wine club members to receive lower prices than everyday walk-in customers. But not to worry, if you are not one of Corbell's wineless members, you can still receive benefits. Corbell often provides sales discounts on certain wines depending on the season. Corbell also has a quantity discount, where if you buy a certain amount of their product, you will receive one or more products free of charge. Buying directly from Corbell versus buying Corbell's product from a different retailer does not serve much benefit. Corbell is known for not having very high markup rates. The average markup on a bottle of Corbell's wine is usually between 3 and $5, but not all of Corbell's wines can be purchased from other retailers. Corbell offers certain specialty products that can only be purchased directly from them. Corbell does not have a bottle of wine that costs more than $30, and that is not because they are cheap, but because they believe in value pricing. They want their customer to be able to receive a quality product at a fair price. Out of all the environments, including economic, technological, political and legal, and cultural and social, uh, I believe that the economic environment has the most impact on Corbell, although they all affect the business in one way or another. The economic environment includes such things as, uh, as national income, growth, and inflation. Corbell is seen as a luxury. It is not a staple item that you go and buy as a necessity in the household. It is usually bought for special occasions, which per household on average can be few and far between. Because Corbell is in this category, the national income has a large effect on the buyer's tendencies. National income also has an effect on tourists that visit the winery. Usually tourists have a large amount of disposable income, which if the economy is down, in turn, there wouldn't be as many tourists. Buyer's income then leads into economic growth. If income across the board is good and buyers are purchasing, then the economic growth will expand. After Gary Heck began running the business, he then expanded into purchasing other wineries, such as Kenwood, Valley of the Moon, and Lake Sonoma Winery. With the economy, he was growing Corbell's investments, but this growth wasn't just seen in Corbell, it was seen in many other wine industries as well. As the economy is growing, inflation will tend to go up. The cost of running a business will increase, which then increases the cost for the purchaser. Inflation has both its ups and downs in any economy, but for Corbell, it can lead to higher risks than other companies because it is in that category of being a luxury and not a staple or necessary item. Corbell has dealt with the turns of the economy very well, including inflation. One way was that they sold its previously bought wineries and focused more of their efforts on their well-known product of champagne.